Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a SQL Server agent job that calls another job. And we'll be learning in this video how to create a SQL Server agent job that calls another job using T-SQL script. And that would be just a, a local job. Both job needs to reside on the same SQL Server. But uh, if you wanted to put a step in a job that will call another job to execute before the next step you wanted to execute on particular SQL Server job, then that scenario will apply here and this video will help you and the second thing that we're gonna try to do it uh, doing the same thing but we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, execute the job that resides on different SQL server um, so the scenario in second is that uh, let's say that you have a central SQL server and uh, you wanted to uh, create all the jobs you wanted to use that central SQL server that manages all other SQL servers in, in your environment so you wanted to create a job uh, that would uh, on your central uh, server that would basically uh, execute all the jobs on different SQL servers. Uh, this video is going to help you in that scenario as well. So let's go ahead and uh, do the first step. Here's my SQL server and here's my SQL server agent. Right here is my backup all DB job. So I will be calling uh, this job and I'll be creating a new job and then a new job first step I'll do whatever I want to do in that particular new job and the second step would be I will call this job uh, in that particular job so let's go ahead and do that right click and new job and job name is demo underscore call another job so my step first is I'm going to go ahead and create step one uh, all DB info that is my step one so I'm going to go ahead and select asterisk from sys.databases so this is my first step so I'm going to go ahead and go in advance and I have on success I do have go to next step on failure quit the job on um, failure so that it won't go to the next step so I'm good with that okay and I'm going to go ahead and create another step and that step basically will go ahead and uh, call another job. Call all DB backup job. So I'm going to go ahead and load our script, which I'll show you in a second. If you notice right here, this is the script that we're going to use. Um, use msdb this is local server or both job needs to be on this particular server so i'm going to go ahead and copy this and run this as my second step right here so you can you have an option not to use this and directly since it's local you can go ahead and directly uh, uh, use msdb but you can go ahead and master since we have explained right here that uh, we're, we're gonna maybe we should take that out and we're going to go ahead and select this will be equivalent to use msdb so i'm going to go ahead and execute dbo start job and this is right here the job name you also have an option that uh, let's say this is the job name and this job has multiple steps you can also add the step name uh, basically right here and execute a particular step in this job not all the job but one step that you need to basically go ahead and start that you can also use the same command and right here you can put the step name with the comma and um, if you wanted to look at the options dbo uh, sp underscore start job is our store procedure that we use there are different options in this store procedure if you wanted to look at that and take advantage of all the options that's available in in this particular uh, store procedure so uh, this is uh, it so we're going to go ahead and um, success we're going to go ahead and do the success on uh, success action we do want it to finish that so we're gonna go ahead and click OK so in this particular job first step is get all the information of the databases and second step is go ahead and call another job which is the backup of this uh, of all the databases so we're gonna go ahead and um, uh, run this and see how it works out for for us click OK and this is the script we used and this is the second script we're going to use to call on another SQL server which will be in a second 
but let's go ahead and first test this job so we're going to go ahead right click and start job yes we wanted first step and then second step all right so let's go ahead and refresh the jobs first let me go ahead and go to the history of this job and see both step has executed yes this job is executed and this job is executed as well so in order to see that if this job it, it called this job we will go ahead and look at this job history right here view history and as you can see right here two or three right here two or three is our timestamp and it has executed so it called another job so basically this is how you call another job and this has uh, let's look at the backups of this job so we're gonna go ahead and go to our computer and see if it has created all the backups with the timestamp that we're looking at so we're gonna go ahead and go to our backup location and right here is our backup location as you can see the timestamp right here is 203 so it has created all the backups so this is how you basically go ahead and call another job um, again I am mentioning this if you wanted to go um, if there are multiple steps of this job that you're calling and you just wanted one particular step in that job to be executed not the whole job you can also do that uh, in your command right here right here you can go ahead and provide the job name and then after that you can provide the step name that you wanted to execute so this is just all about the local now we're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, look at um, the remote server this is our remote server this is a different SQL server as you can see that uh, Dynamics AX dev SQL test is my instance in this case and I'm going to go ahead and create the job and that will basically um, go ahead and execute a job uh, which is let me take a look that we need to um, it, in this particular um, step right here we do need to create a linked server because we need to connect to remote server so if you're using SQL server um, uh, methodology to connect to a remote server you need to create a link server if you have a different methodology um, there are third-party softwares that will help you to connect to a SQL server or you have uh, uh, um, uh, another script um, to remote server you can use that as well and still can use this command so let's go ahead and connect to another SQL server so we're gonna go ahead and tech brothers SQL backslash SQL PROD and we're gonna use authentication SA just to take a look what is the job name as you can see we're connected and let's see if there are jobs up here there are a lot of jobs right here and we're going to look at the test job and this test job is probably going to get information about all the databases on this server so what we're going to do is, is that run this job from our central server which is right here so we're gonna go ahead and um, do this test so this is uh, the right here is the test job so we're gonna go ahead and call this particular so we're gonna go ahead and copy this create another job on our um, SQL Server agent run remote SQL job and our step is remote DB info so we're going to go ahead and use this command exec this is my linked server name right here and this is my remote server msdb and i'm using dbosp underscore start job same store procedure and then i'm calling the job name right here so i'm going to go ahead and click ok and click ok let's go ahead and 
run this newly created job and we will see that um, if it is successful so we got an error let's take a look on error it says execute as dynamics de server this server our destination server the server that we have created is not configured for RPC so let's go ahead and configure uh, our uh, link server for RPC and I'm I'm glad that this error came up that way you will learn how to uh, enable or how to configure RPC uh, on uh, your link server so we're gonna go ahead and close this and go to our link server and this is the link server we're gonna go ahead and go to the properties and server options as you can see right here this is the option it is looking for RPC out so you need to we have RPC enabled right here but this is the option it's looking for RPC out so we're gonna go ahead and change this to true and click OK and now let's go ahead and run the job alright it's successful so let's go ahead and take a look the runtime of test job on our target SQL server so let's go ahead and view history and this step completed at 209 right here and we have 210 just a minute ago it's completed so why this job failed let's take a look so we're gonna go ahead and go to the properties and look at the steps and go to the advanced and on success action right here I have quit the job reporting failure so that is not a good action right here because uh, the, a job su successfully completed once the job successfully completed we need to make it quit the job reporting success so we're gonna go ahead and click OK and click OK let's run the job from our source server one more time and see if everything goes through all right time is 210 so let's go ahead on our destination server we're gonna go ahead and refresh it and go to the view history and as you can see it is successful 210 and right here everything is looking good so basically this is how you call another um, how, how, this is how you connect to another SQL Server agent and call the job from your source to destination so we learned doing uh, calling the job on a le local SQL Server and we also learned how to uh, basically uh, uh, start a job on a remote computer and we also learned how to take care of uh, uh, the options right here if you run into error that RPC is not enabled you go ahead and enable RPC out on your link server that way it'll go ahead and enable the communication between uh, this your uh, this server source server and your remote server which link server that you have just created so I hope this video helps